What is going on, everybody? It's Alex. I'm back at you with another video. And today, we're going to be rocking this Texans seven-round mock draft. was thinking about doing a couple other teams, but wanted to stick in the original division that I was working with and also with a team that their record's not really going to fluctuate much. So, uh, unfortunately, we already did the Lions, so now we're going to be going with the Texans. Already did the Eagles as well. Let's kick this off. Let's have some fun. Texans fans, if you're new, like, comment, subscribe. You know all that YouTube stuff. We post videos every single day here. Almost, most of the time. So, of course, if you guys like draft content, I always do that all the time. So, this is the place. Of course, if you guys want to talk to me more, links down in the description. Of course, get the best drink on earth, Oli Pop, 15% off with my code Hail Mary. Do your thing. Let's start this off. Let's have some fun. You guys are here for non promos. You guys are here for a draft. And as y'all know, we don't do trades because it is it will change every single time I do it. I will never get the same trade twice. So it's a bit unfair. Of course, KT goes number one. He's my obvious number two guy in the draft or like my obvious guy who I would have taken if he fell to number two. But this is the toughest pick right here, depending on which team drafts. Obviously, if there's the Jaguars, I know what it is. But Evan Neal is something you could certainly look at. I think that that would be a pretty smart move. However, it's not going to be a very realistic one. You guys brought Marcus Cannon on. He's also on for another year. Evan Neal needs to be a day one impact. And the position of most need on the offensive line right at the moment is going to be that center role. And I, I think that you guys will be perfectly fine, especially targeting it in free agency. I, as much of a fan as I am of Tyler Linderbaum, would never take him in the top three. So don't worry about that. We're not going that route. I think going after a position of high value is the most important when you're at the top of the draft, and that's going to be quarterback or one of the lines. So offensive line is something I just said we're not really going to be targeting right now. However, we should be targeting defensive front. And I'm looking right here. These two guys, choose whoever, whichever one you guys want. I think there's enough guys on the interior defensive line that I don't want this organization to have a chance of screwing this up and putting Leal on the interior. Aiden Hutchinson has been a dominant threat. He's been the guy who I've been taking at number two very recently. And I think he's an absolute freak. He has that Bosa upside. And I think that that's worth it. So we're going to be rocking Aiden Hutchinson here. Of course, having the sweatshirt in the background, very professional, right? So uh, Aiden Hutchinson going to the Texans. Again, you just got to build up. You got to build up that defense because the offense, honestly, you need a wide receiver and you need a running back none of that you're taking at the spot that we're drafting. So again, we're still declining all trades because I think it's a little bit BS for us to take trades that we would never, ever get again. We'll see who falls to us. Obviously, if we got a guy like Jahan Dotson to fall around our territory, that's somebody who I would highly consider, but we'll see. We'll see. Obviously, Jahan Dotson doesn't make it to us, but that's okay. You know, there are other options. And I think quarterback is something that I am certainly factoring in right now i think sam howell is worth probably a top 15 pick and that's something where it's like you know davis mills has shown some flashes wow look at that can you believe that wow look at the corners they're all gone i just want to check it out because obviously we could use one um most of them are gone besides martin emerson that's crazy but yeah quarterback you can't just say like oh well we're guaranteed that we have our guy um I mean, Sam Howell's easily worth this pick. I just want to see who else is on the board. Wide receivers, uh, wide receiver wise, Jamison Williams, George Pickens are guys who I'd consider. You know, Wandale is a guy I'd consider late second or early third. So I'd do that. I think this one, you have to go with Sam Howell. I really do. Uh, it's possible he falls here because, again, North Carolina kind of screwed him over. He had four uh, extremely high powered weapons that went to the NFL draft. So he's having to deal with just Josh Downs. And that is a little bit rough when you used to have the best running back core, arguably in UNC history. We're going to go Sam Howell. He's a guy who's been able to deal with a little bit. I think the offensive line's a lot better here in the Texans and at UNC. So lock him in and be able to actually have something with some upside there at the quarterback position. I know y'all might not like that. And I respect that, but again, you just got to take advantage of how the draft board falls. There are guys like, when Jawan Taylor fell to the second round, like people thought he was going to be a top eight pick. Same thing with DK Metcalf, but that was for a different reason. DK, it's injury. So, you know, you get it. But 
it's like mm, with a guy like Sam Howell, you just can't you can't pass up on that. You know, freaking Desmond Ritter goes before him, and I know there's some Des- Desmond Ritter fans in the chat, but I mean, I watch Desmond Ritter all the time. He's he's not more special than what Sam Howell could do. So we'll see what happens. Um, obviously, very annoying with these auto picks coming in, but or the trades just spamming. But I think the right way to go with this pick is wide receiver. And Jameson Williams, to me, is worth a first-round pick. All but two of our wide receivers are going to be gone as of next year, which sucks. Most of them were on one-year contracts. So you got Brandon Cooks and Nico Collins. And now we have Jameson Williams, who is another freak of nature at the wide receiver position. I'm hoping that maybe, I don't know if Kenneth Walker has been updated to have a really high overall in this, because that'd be great if we were able to get him. No, Kenneth Walker already went. But that that's a guy I would want to target, especially, um, ooh, I'd still consider Wondell Robinson here, because he does have that running back versatility. Uh, he, to me, is like Phil Lindsay, so I really do like him. But still, uh, we're just letting the draft fall the way that we want it to. Uh, Wondell Robinson's a heavy target right now. I just, oh, Brees Hall is here. Uh, you have to get a running back. We have literally zero left after this year. It's the third round. Uh, we're going to get Brees Hall, who has been able to carry an, an offense on his back, and he's finally getting back in the groove. I think there's a lot of upside with Brees Hall. I don't know why people, <clears throat> especially TDN, is hating on him. He doesn't deserve that, but whatever. We're going to leave it as is. A guy who I would really like to pick up would be Kyler Gordon, who just went, but Obviously, can't do that anymore. We'll see what happens. Obviously, uh, I know we have two fourth-round picks coming up because I saw that in one of the trades, which that should be fun. But we'll see what happens. You know, obviously, I wanted Zion to a Paloa Fatui to um, fall to our pick because that would have been great to be able to have another guy who's an extremely high overall come to me. And, I mean, I have a second-round grade on Zion. So there's a little bit of uh, bias right there. Regardless, we're here sitting with our fourth round pick. And I think Micah McFadden might be too good to pass up on. Just want to see if there's anybody else where I'd be willing to take a shot on him. I don't think tight end is the right way to roll. I think that, well, I had a late first and then switched to pretty much like really early second on Brevin Jordan. Obviously he fell pretty far, but he's doing pretty damn well. And I think he has a bright future there. Micah McFadden is somebody who I would really like on this team with Bernard McKinney. You know, Bernard McKinney is there for a, quite a while, but Michael McFadden has a big upside and you need to continue stuffing the run, especially with the Colts and their running back rotation there. And I mean, do we need to mention the monstrosity that's Derrick Henry? I hope for a speedy recovery from, but you need somebody who can be able to play Mike as well as Will. And that's somebody who can do both roles very well, especially in an injury prone NFL. It's a good sign to have somebody who can play both positions I would be looking at, I think Donovan West is the center. He's a center for um, Arizona State, if I'm not mistaken. And that's a dude who I'd legitimately consider drafting. Like, that's the only guy around round five that I'd take. So that's kind of bad. <laughs> but we're going to take Riley Moss with this pick. I, I, it's a little bit of a copycat pick because I do, I do like him. I have a third-round grade on him. So he's in most of my drafts. But Riley Moss is a really good damn – a really damn good quarter, cornerback. I keep wanting to say quarterback. It's driving me crazy. But Riley Moss is a really good INT specialist, and that would be really good to have on a team that, well, most of it is just patchwork. So there's a big, bright future for Riley Moss in this league, and hopefully the Texans can get something going because obviously I don't want to send them to a team that sucks. (laughs) And right now they're not doing too hot. Of course, with Sam Howell, that could change. But this next pick, this, oh man, I might just want to go Xavier Thomas here just for the upside. We still could get another um, tight end, but I think actually this would be a really good idea. He and Nia Smith, a running back wide receiver hybrid. You know, you're losing Philip Lindsay. So now you got Brees Hall, which is more of a three down back, but now you also have a Nia Smith, which is a wide receiver. So we need that as well as a running back. I like it. I really do like uh, what we can do with that type of situation right there. Another guy I'm going to be targeting is Xavier Hutchinson or Hutchinson. Excuse me. I just really like him out of Iowa state. And then we could pair him up with his buddy. Um, obviously in Brees hall, but Xavier Hutchinson, he is six foot three. He's a pretty damn good separator. Just watch the game versus Michigan state. And you guys will know what I'm talking about. He's good. 
He's really, really good. Juco transfer, you know, obviously nothing crazy right there, but uh, I think he just went, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He just went to the Chargers, but that's somebody who I would have targeted if we had a sixth round pick. And then I think we didn't, but still, there's still a lot of ways that we can go. I mean, there, there's so many good players. Uh, Justin Shorter, really damn, he's worth it. Uh, DJ Matthews as well. DJ Matthews has been criminally underrated. You guys say that I criminally rate, uh, underrate David Bell. I mean, they're disrespecting DJ Matthews to the point where it's just so, it's bad. It's really bad. Regardless, if Donovan West is still on here, which he is not, unfortunately, I would have definitely taken him. I didn't know that we didn't have a six-round pick, but that's just because the TDN system starts random auto-drafting. It doesn't allow us to pick. It's just stupid, but I think a place where we could go is Joey Blunt right here out of Virginia. I think that the lineage is, I mean, it's, it's the Blunt lineage, and going from UVA, they, already, they always know how to create some pretty damn solid players, so Getting a guy like Joey Blunt with the upside is certainly worth that seventh round pick. And that is, I believe, how we're going to end off the draft. So for y'all watching, let me know what you guys think. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. We had a good time. Not many picks, but you know what? We made a lot with them. Let me know what you guys think. See you on the far side. Peace.